and welcome to your May 2021 reading. Let's look into your energy today for the sun, moon, and rising signs. If you don't know your sun, moon, and rising sign, you can look in the description box down below for a free site that will take you to what you need. If this reading does not resonate with you, remember that energies can be reversed, means that you can assign the roles any way you like, but stick around because there may be something in the reading that you need to hear. These messages are timeless, and that means that even if you were to listen to this message a year from now or two years from now, if God brought you here, it's because there's something in it for you whether it's today or in the future. If this reading does not resonate with you, it just means that I'm not picking up on your specific energy at the time. If there are cards in here that you want to resonate with you, but they're just not yet, that's okay because all you have to do is go to the video, what are they thinking about you, April 2021, and at the end of that video, it explains on how to raise your vibration in order to match the cards that you're looking at and that you're wanting to bring into your life because all of manifestation is in your hands anyway. So if there's things in here that you like, great use it. If there's things in here that you don't like and it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay too. During this reading, the angels are bringing the Holy Fire Reiki energy to you. And at the end of this video, I will release the trapped emotions for your sign. I will let you know what essential oils and maybe even some crystals that can help maximize your energy. So check out the description box down below for all the details. If you like this reading or you were entertained in some way, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. This way you can get notified as soon as I post something new. Okay, let's get started. So I hope that you had a great Scorpio full moon. Hope that wasn't too hard for you. But this is your month, right? A lot of birthdays are happening um, in this month. And so I'm excited for you guys. Make sure that you do your birthday wishes. 10 wishes is what you get. Write them all down and just start manifesting what you want. People think it's only one, you have 10. So write down 10 things that you want to bring forth this year and in your month. Super excited for you. Um, and we have a Mercury retrograde in Gemini this month. You might be feeling it right now. And it actually goes to the 20, I mean, it starts at the 29th is really when it's going to be powerful, the 29th of May. And we also have the Schumann Residence, Re Resonance. I don't know if you know what that is or not, but that's actually the heartbeat of the earth. It's actually a vibration. Um, you can look it up. It's pretty cool. Every essential oil has a Schumann Resonance. That's how we know it has vibration. Lots of things have it. And so I know that it was really, really high yesterday and will be for the next 48 hours. So if you feel like headaches or heart palpitations or um, you're just not feeling so great, you just feel unbalanced in your body, one of the things that you could do is actually use Balance Oil would be a great one that you can use to help you out with that. Also, if you could just use a higher vibration oil like frankincense, um, let's see, frankincense comes in like that. Frankincense you could use, um, rose oil is very high as well. And just to help you kind of work with the energy that's happening because the earth is changing. Um, that's why we have all of these uh, uh, natural disasters and things that are going on. It's just part of the earth changing. We all change, even the earth changes. And so the Schumann resonance is just part of that. So if you're feeling kind of off and stuff like that, I would look at that as well, okay? But uh, let's get started. I... I'm only accepting the highest and best truth for the Taurus Collective's highest and best good, bringing forth the most accurate answers. I got in a bike wreck and I hurt the whole left side of my body, so that's why I'm a little bit later than I wanted to be with these videos. I do like to do them more in May because there's overlapping energies in April and May, so I wanted to make sure I got more May energies opposed to the April energies because everything's fluid and kind of overlaps and stuff. But I got into a wreck and then I hurt my hand, so it's a little bit difficult to shuffle, but I'm doing my best. Okay. And we'll probably do one more shuffle, see what comes up about for May. Looking at May. Oh, that was a good cut. Very nice. We have the Ace of Cups. 
We have the Knight of Cups. Oh, lots of love. Okay, we're going to be pulling some love cards. Somebody was asking me, do I pull the same cards for everybody? No, I don't. I have supplemental cards over here that I like to use. It's really whatever I see or hear, and then I'll pull some different cards. We have the Star card. We have the Four of Swords, which is an amazing card as well. We have the Eight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. We'll clarify the Eight of Swords, okay? We have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles. We clarify the Hierophant with the Empress. Oh, we can't get any better than that. That's beautiful. Those are two great cards together. And the Nine of Cups. I don't think we need to clarify that anymore. That's beautiful. But let's go ahead and clarify this card right here. That is the Eight of... Well, I want to know what you're feeling trapped about or what you may might be feeling trapped about in May. And I don't know if that has something to do with Mercury Retrograde or not. Because we all go through stuff. Mercury is at home in Gemini. So that's actually... I think it'll be a pre, it's going to be a better... I hope. A better one. And... Um, Gemini isn't as emotion, emotional as some of the other planets that we had. I mean, I'm not a planet, I'm sorry, signs that we've had. So like when it's in Cancer or Pisces or Scorpio, those can be really emotional. Um, but Gemini is an air sign and it's also about communication and it's at home. So it should be pretty good. Let's clarify that right there. Clarifying this. Okay. Okay, stability. And, okay, beautiful. That's good clarification. All right, the bottom of the deck, ooh, is the King of Wands. We're going to talk about that in a second. Let me pull some other cards, though. This, I mean, you guys have had such great energy, and it just doesn't seem like it's going to stop. <laughs> it actually looks really good still. So I like it. Very good. All right, so we do have love because we have cups of love. Before I do that, though, I do want to make sure that I clarify just a little bit more. And then we'll get some advice cards about love because you have love all around you, which is awesome. And great energy. My son is a Taurus and he's doing amazing. And I just love that you guys are doing so good right now because I, I do want to say that, you know, he struggled for the last couple of years and his emotions. And um, so I know how hard it, and I have a couple of really good friends who are Taurus, so I know how hard it could have been for you if you were going through stuff. Just know that it looks like you guys are at the, the light is at the end of the tunnel type of thing. You guys are there. You're at the light. Okay. Okay. Ah, there we go. I love it. <laughs> Very nice. Very good. At first I was like, I don't know where we're going with that, but I see it now. That's beautiful. Okay. This is the first time I think I've used these in a couple of days. Ow, ow, my hand. That's probably why <laughs> I haven't used them. I have bruised that whole section of my hand right there. While I'm shuffling these cards, I don't know if you guys have gotten into Dogecoin or not, but um, I did and it like tripled. So it's still really, really low for those of you who are looking to get into crypto. Um, and uh, I guess Elon Musk had done a Saturday Night Live, and it, that's probably why it surged up. But um, it, I just do it to have fun and to play. But I do it through Robin Hood. So there'll be a link in the description box if you want to do it too, because each of us can get a free stock if we do it through Robin Hood. So, and I just, I play, I have fun. And uh, you can be serious if you want, or you could just play with me. But um, I'll put a link in the description box just because it's something really cool that's happening right now. Okay, what do we have? Okay. Okay, well, very nice. All right, so let's get started, and then we'll figure, we'll do these hidden truth cards as well, and those love cards as well, since we're in a love reading, it seems. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to try to not just do love because I know that not everybody is here for love and this is a May general reading and I'm reading for the entire collective, not just a, um, but it looks like a lot of you guys are focused in on love. So we'll do that as well. 
Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands, or the King of Wands, I'm sorry, Ooh, for the overall energy for the entire reading is the King of Wands, so we need to be focusing in that area. The King of Wands is a very honorable man. It could be man or woman, there is no gender to the cards, so I just want you to know that that could be man or woman, but, but this is what it means. It means honorable, uh, very business oriented, cultured communication, so there we go. We have the communication card, which is, um, Mercury retrograde is going to be focused in communication. I'm going to be doing a specific Mercury retrograde reading as we get closer so you can know exactly what it is that we're going to be focusing on during that retrograde. So you, you were very clear. The cool thing about astrology is it gives you the opportunity to look at the different windows of your soul. But um, tarot or the cards give you the energy. And so I believe that the, that is a little bit more um, precise because it gives you the actual energy. So I like that. And it tells you what you're working with. Um, the King of Wands is a very cultured man. He's, um, he's very wise, open, and self-aware. So during this month, I have a feeling that the main thing for you is going to be expressing yourself and being free in your spirit. So that's very nice because you also do have the Empress at the, as the overall outcome. And we'll talk about that in a second. That's very beautiful. So where you're coming from is you just laid a bunch of swords down. Um, you have decided that those things, and it doesn't seem to me like this was a difficult thing for you. It was kind of like, you know what? I'm kind of done with all that, you know, done with all that energy. And so, uh, I mean, maybe it was difficult months and years ago, but you're at the point where you're like, all right, it's time to move on. And that's what I saw right here was this right here. It's very interesting because when I first pulled these cards, I was like, oh, no, we just came from obstacles and challenges. And then I pulled this one. Oh, no, we just came from disruption. Ah, and I was getting kind of like, oh, where are we going? And then it said, don't worry, you're moving on. <laughs> I thought that was cute. So that's what happened here. You had all this craziness that had happened to you. It disrupted your life. It brought a lot of obstacles and challenges for you. But then you just moved right on like a beautiful energy. And so you are moving into, into clearer waters and moving right into love, which is beautiful. Because that's where we're going. The energy that's surrounding the month of May is um, that the month of May is in. And then we'll look at the crossing over energy. And the month of May is in the Ace of Cups. It just can't get any better than that. That's beautiful. The Ace of Cups is success. <clears throat> Hold on real quick. It's, it's love, straight up in all areas. It's relationships, it's the emotional lottery that you're looking for, it's positive emotions, it's creativity, it's growth. I mean, it's just flourish in all of the, the ways that you can. You know, it's, you're gonna start to appreciate all the things around you. Um, and my, my son's been like that. He's a Taurus, he keeps hugging me, and he's like, Mom, I just love you so much, and I just love my life. And I can see that's like the energy, you know, that he's like seven years old or he's almost eight. He's going to be eight at the end of this month because he's Taurus. But, um, you know, he's just like, I love life, mom. I love life. And that just explains like the Taurus energy right now is I just love life, right? And then you have this Knight of Cups that's crossing over you, which is a beautiful energy to be crossing over you because the Knight of Cups means that your money is going to, I'm sorry, means that you're going to get a proposal a uh, romance, you're going to get new friends in your life, open to new love. If you already are in a loving relationship, then it just means that that love is going to open up and expand even more. And you're just going to be in such a wonderful place. Enjoy it. It's that summer months. You know, I'm hearing the song, um, the Fresh Prince, I think the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air song of summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. You're going to feel like that, right? You're going to feel like putting the windows down. It's summertime. It's my birthday month. <laughs> right? It's how you're going to feel. I mean, it's your birthday month. Enjoy this. Energy is so beautiful. I mean, you're, I just feel like the sun is on your body and you're just loving every moment of it. Okay. Great. So you're asking about, you're asking the universe about the spiritually guided path. You know, you have really focused in more on the spiritual aspect of yourself in these last few months. And you're asking God like, Hey, 
I hear you and I hear this intuition that you're giving me and it could be about love and it could be about a career. It doesn't really matter what is it about because every Taurus has a different situation. But what it does mean is that God has been tapping on your shoulder about something or maybe some things could be more than one thing and you're feeling this intuition and you're like, am I hearing you right, God? Is that really what we're doing? And, um, you know, you're... Your hopes and fears are in this direction that has to do with this card, you know, and what I'm feeling is that you've had some deception before and maybe you followed some things that you thought was your intuition before and it led you in the wrong direction and you feel like, is this, am I hearing myself correctly? Because before I have been deceived and before I had these like these people in my life that really hurt me and I trusted them and I believed that they were there to help me and all they did was take from me and they, they really, really hurt me. And now I'm feeling strong again and I'm kind of a little nervous of moving in that direction and trusting and bringing faith into this again when I had been hurt so badly and you're like telling like God like hey I'm, I'm, I'm okay picking up my swords and moving forward as long as I know that I'm not going into this direction I don't want to go to disruption and obstacles and challenges again and I want to move forward and God's saying that you are moving on from that so the we'll, we'll we'll go more and answer this question a little bit more in just a second but i just wanted to let you know what the question was that you're presenting to the universe right now or what you may be thinking where you're going in the energy is that you are moving into this energy of feeling trapped and that's what i was like man what does that mean you know because um taurus is feeling so good for so long what does it mean and what they're saying is it's not really this kind of disrupted trapped. It's more like a just it's like a trap in your mind where you just have a little bit of fear, just a tiny bit of fear. But I feel like the universe is going to give you the energy that's going to make this a lot smaller than it had been in the past. So you'll still still feel some kind of fear of moving forward and fear that you're going to be stabbed by one of these um, these these swords that are there, right? But what I'm hearing is, is that fear that you have is all it's going to do is help you make the decisions towards your stability. It's okay to have some trapment fear because you have been trapped before. It makes you know that I need to make better decisions this time, some that are more concrete, that are more solid in, on my feet, um, some that are more solid in my heart, some that are more solid in my mind. I need to actually, instead of just, um, it's it, so there's gotta be trust with stability in with where you have had some sort of contribution to say, this is how I want it to be. So if it's a career, you're gonna say, this is how I want the career to actually be. If it's love, then it's like, this is how I really want that love to, to um, transpire is the word that I'm hearing. I want it to look like this, where before it looked like this, and there were these things that I liked about it, but there were these things that I didn't like about it, and I don't want those. So it's really about making decisions toward your stability, okay? So they're showing me, though, that it's going to be super prosperous, whatever you do, because you have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is success. It's a very clear decision thinking because that's what you're doing here. And when you feel the trapped feelings, all that's doing is helping you make a decision about where you want to go and what you want. Don't You don't have to go there emotionally. It's more like a logical way of thinking. And this is a very logical card. This is an air sign. It's logical in the sense that um, you it, it's very decisive thinking. Everything of the decisions that you make are going to be like immediate for the change for the better and you're going to triumph over your past obstacles. Okay, you're going to feel very good about it. You're going to make better judgments. All right, and if there is a confrontation, you're just going to go within and make sure I just really feel like this is a feeling of more of an observation way of looking at your life instead of so emotional. It's going to be a little bit more logical where you kind of have better decisions about what you're bringing forth. 
Now, here's the cool thing. You're in the energy of some fast moving energy. Your, actually ener your actual energy is really fast. This is the fastest night of the deck. It is an air sign as well. We have two air signs. We have three. Okay. We have an air sign feeling of trapment, an air sign feeling of success, and an air sign feeling of movement. That's very interesting. So that's, G oh, Gemini. So that's probably, that's Gemini is the Mercury retrograde is in Gemini. So maybe that's preparing you for, this is probably, I don't know yet because I haven't done the Mercury, Mercury retrograde Gemini reading, but maybe this is what they're kind of alluding to, that this is kind of going to be what we're going to be going through for your Mercury retrograde. But it's going to be fast, whatever it is. The Knight of Swords is very unexpected, sudden truths. Um, and very determined. I mean, this knight is getting through everything. He's very driven. Um, remember, there's no gender to the card. It's just what I'm just describing the card. But he has a strong sense of self, very professional. And um, there's going to be, you're in the energy of, of truth, but the, the shadow side of this card is stress. So we're going to give you some essential oils to help you like lessen that stress so you don't go into this energy instead, okay? I want to make sure that you stay in the highest vibration energy. The people around you are actually um, learning and teaching. Everybody around you, they're either, either learning or they're teaching. <laughs> so they're um, going to be going through their own Mercury Retrograde stuff and they're either going to be teaching someone how to get through it or they're going to be learning about how to get through it. You're going to be seeing all these people around you like in the education phase. It's going to be very interesting. But you're going to be such in fast moving energy and focusing in on whatever you're bringing forth that you're not really going to be focusing in on what everybody else is doing. But it's good to know where everybody is. It's good to know like, oh, okay, so you're, and you'll be able to recognize it. You'll say, oh, okay, so you're the teacher. Okay, cool. Or you're going to be like, oh, no, you're the learner for sure. <laughs> okay, so it's good to know where everybody is. Everybody's learning right now or, or being taught or, or teaching. Okay, so where are we going? We are going into uh, the ulti the the outcome, the closest outcome to you is very beautiful, very, very awesome. You can't have a better pair. The Empress and the Hierophant together, wow, because the Empress is already amazing. Not only is she beautiful and men, this could be that you're hot, okay? It's just it's just the energy of the card. But everybody wants to be around the Empress. And as you have this higher power that is circling around you, it's almost like you have the hand of God in all of this Empress energy and all of this stuff that's happening for you. You have, like, God is so with you. Um, the, 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 Hierophant, the Hierophant is one of the most um, spiritually accessible cards, like, meaning that you were asking God if you were following your intuition was, can I trust it? The answer is yes, you can trust it. You can trust it. You have the higher font and the Empress. There's no more trust that you can get in the universe. It's so beautiful. Yeah. So move on, move on, move in the direction. You have what you need. God is with you. God is with you every step of the way. Trust in your intuition this time. The energy is so different from where we came from, from the 3D dimensional reality. It is so different. We're moved into 4D, then 5D. Some people are living in 5D. Some people are living in 4D. Some people are still living in 3D. And you can feel that energy. That energy is like, you don't want to be around it. You're like, okay, go on with that because I can't. <laughs> You know what I mean? I can't live with that and that, that energy right now. We cycle through it. 3D, try to stay as most you can in 4D, 5D. This is 5D energy. If you, if you stay in the higher vibration by using essential oils and using crystals and exercising and eating lots of fruits and vegetables and all of those things that I talk about in the What Are They Thinking About You video and really recognizing your emotions, you're going to move in the right direction. You're not going to make a mistake. Okay, if it feels free inside of your body, if you don't feel this entrapment, then you're great, good to go, keep moving. You've made, okay, if it makes you feel trapped, you make the decision, you move on. Okay, oh, no, that's a, that makes me feel trapped. Mm, no, 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 no. And it's not like um, there's not an emotional component to that. It's more logical. It's not like, oh my God, it makes me feel so trapped. It's not like that. It's like, 
Oh, no, 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 I see that. Thank you for the intuition, God. Thank you for having me be in my power with the Empress energy. I see you for who you are. I see what that's going to bring me. And the answer is no, no, ma'am, no, sir. You got it? Um, otherwise, it goes, it feels like this. Oh my gosh, that feels, if I could do that, I would feel like this. And yes, I totally, that's how, that's when you move in the right direction. It like gives me goosebumps. It makes me feel like, yeah, totally. Okay, super free feeling, then you want to move towards it. Okay, now the overall energy or the overall outcome three to six months from now from all of this energy and all of the stuff that you've moved through, what's going to happen is it's going to give you the stability that you need for a lifetime. So the stability that you're looking for, the um, Knight of Pentacles is an earth energy um, and it's about money improving, very, lots of success, very loyal, dependable, security, um, genuine, planner, steady, at rest, long term, all of those wonderful things. It's super consistent. Um, it, this horse is not moving like this horse. This horse is moving super fast. So you're going to move through and get all this stuff done and then you're going to be in a really nice energy of just stability. That's what that card is. And then guess what? It is the nine of cups at the end of all of that, which is the answer is yes. <laughs> the nine of cups is beautiful. Um, everybody wants the nine of cups, uh, even over the 10 of cups. It's like the nine of cups is just so beautiful in what it brings in. So there's so much yellow in that. And it's uh, uh, and with the blue, that's emotional happiness. This is your emotional lottery. That's what this is. This is like, yeah, the ten of club, the, t the the ten of cups is beautiful because it has that rainbow and it's pretty and it's wonderful. But there's something about the nine of cups that really, um, just like explodes in the emotions. It's just so wonderful. It's it's like a. I feel like this card. Whenever I get it, it's like it's something that happens that's so deep and be it's a deep beauty. You can't like explain it. I can't even explain it. So just know that something amazing is coming that you're not even going to be able to explain to people. <laughs> you're just going to have to feel it and enjoy it, right? Okay, so we do have some love cards that I'd like to bring out for you, and I'm not being led to these just yet. I actually need to pull these first. For those people who, um, we do have love. We do have love. So there's people bringing in careers and there's people bringing in love, but let's go ahead and focus. And those of you who are not interested in love, um, then fast forward. Those of you who want to know what the person is thinking about you, then we can we can look into that. So I'm asking the um, the angels and guides, can you please let us know what the Taurus Collective's person thinks about them? They want to know. We want just a little peek into uh, some truth, okay? Some hidden truth. That's what we want. So... Oh, interesting. Let's get some love cards to go with that. Can we clarify those, please? This is interesting. Beautiful. I'm so much in your energy right now. I'm so lightheaded. <laughs> so, trying to feel. Oh. Ooh. I missed one. Check to see if that was your card. It wasn't. <laughs> There we go. What do we have? If it comes up again, it is. Okay, very interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to read these two together. Okay. Now, what they're thinking about you is, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Wow. And not only that, but this was paired with it. And this says, um, this is heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Oh my gosh, you guys got the card of communication, which makes sense. So Gemini, the Mercury retrograde. So we're going to have some love talks, okay? Heart-to-heart -heart communications. Because honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So 
You might be hearing from this month that somebody thought that it was their fault, but they blamed you because they wanted it to be your fault. Um, okay, so the next one is, I feel you leaving me behind. Okay, and it's paired with getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So take that how you want to take that. Those of you who are in love right now and having to deal with a love situation with communication. Um, because what I'm feeling like that is um, this person has some, some, some injury of self-esteem. And when they, they may have some abandonment issues. So just having some conversation with them about that and getting to know each other a little bit more will help them understand you better so they don't feel like they're being left behind, okay? Um, so if that if that's the way you read it, if not, you could read it a different way, that's fine. Um, and the last one is, I want you, and, and you got the card of trust, which, which you, was what you were asking about, should I trust this? And they're saying, trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith. So have faith in the fact that they do really want you, okay? All right, um, we do have these three cards left for advice. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So that's gonna help you raise your vibration. This is criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. There's definitely going to be some conversation about that, right? And lucky for you, hoo, 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 it's getting hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Um, we have sexual union. So honor the place in one another where you are an eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. Beautiful. So that's really, really awesome. Let's go ahead and look at what your crystal is and we'll talk about your essential oils and we'll release the trapped emotions of guilt in your liver and indecisiveness in your liver. So we got some liver work to do, okay? Wow, we'll do that, releasing our trapped emotions at the end of the video. And these are hard on my hand. I'll try to shuffle them pretty good. Can we get a crystal, please, for the Taurus Collective that can help them, that they can keep in their pocket or wear on their arm or their neck or whatever to help them out? Oh, I want to say thank you so much for all the people who subscribe to my channel and all the donations and everything you've done. I hit 100 subscribers, so I think I'm supposed to be able to put my name at the end of like the love trip in at the end of my YouTube channel. So when I get notified of that, I can't wait to do that. That's exciting. And my next um, goal would be 500 so that I could do um, some affiliate links from Amazon because I think you have to have 500 in order to do that. So that's my next goal. And so moving on forward to the goals, right? What do we have? This is interesting. I've never seen this crystal before. This, I don't even know how to say it. What is it called? Let me see. Epidote, and I could totally have said that wrong, so I'll get it close to the camera where you can see. Hold on. There you go. And I'll put it in the description box down below as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that means. All right, so. Oh, you are ready to heal on a deeper level. Yeah, you guys have done so much healing that, yeah, you could go to that deeper level and you would be okay. It wouldn't be such a big jump, you know, of going to never working on yourself to, um, you know, now you're working on yourself in the deepest, darkest parts, depths of your soul. <laughs> right now, it says you're ready. You're going to peel back the layers around your heart by letting your guard down and opening yourself up to being vulnerable. Begin to address any emotional wounds you, so you can repair your heart and renew your spirit, leaving you open to pursuing healthier relationships. You are strong enough to shatter all barriers that have been holding you back from forming deeper connections with the people in your life. It takes bravery to dive deep, but once you do, you can unlock a more meaningful experience. So here's some core questions. Are you holding yourself back from creating a deeper relationships? Oh, yeah, we just saw that. Do you allow yourself to be vulnerable? What can you do differently to open up those to open up to those around you? Here's an affirmation. I am open. What? Here's an affirmation. 
I open my heart to loving connections. Today, take the time to have a deeper conversation with someone. <laughs> I have to laugh. That's totally what we've been hearing over and over. You have the communication card. They have a communication card here. I mean, it's like getting to know each other. You have three. You have a communication card in the tarot. You have two communication cards in the oracle reading, and then now you have a communication stone. Oh my goodness. I can't wait for you to have those connected conversations. Those are awesome. All right, let's talk about your essential oils and we'll get to your, um, your emotions. Okay, so the first one is Elevation, which is a beautiful oil. I like to actually put this in my soap when I make soap, and I like to put it in my... Um, I make my own body lotion as well. I like to put it in that because it smells really good. Um, the only thing is, is that this has a citrus oil in it, so you can't put the body lotion if you make it. You can't put it on your skin before you go out in the sun because you'll get a sunburn because it's a photosensitive oil. So, uh, but you can put it on the bottom of your feet. That doesn't expose to the sun. And you could put, if you put it like my lotion, I put it on at night, you know, after I take my shower. Um, anyway, so there you go. That's good. A great one. Elevation, exactly what it says. It's a it's a mood oil, which it will elevate the mood because it has lots of great oils in there that do that. You, it's a beautiful oil to diffuse because it smells so good. Really, for real. It's amazing. Um, so it's just going to elevate that and keep you from feeling this trapment feeling. It's going to just elevate you into a higher resonance so that your vibration, however you want to say it. And same thing with wild orange. Wild orange is the oil of abundance. So same thing, paired together, that's gonna be a beautiful combination. Wild orange is great for inviting your angels and spirit guides, or your angels, I'm sorry, great for inviting angels into your space. Um, wild orange is also wonderful for if you're angry, it'll help you um, you know, not hold on to that anger as much. Like one of the things we always say when I would teach classes is I would put wild orange in someone's hand and say, okay, think about someone that you're really angry about and then smell wild orange. It's almost impossible to continue to be angry and smell wild orange. It just smells so good. The uplifting effects of wild orange is just wonderful. Um, so you can also put this in your water. Wild orange you can, elevation you cannot. How you know is that there's not there's no supplemental facts right there where this one has that right there, if you can see it. I don't know if you can. But so that right there, um, is your, are your oils, is your oils, are your oils. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and do the releasing of trapped emotions. I want you to go ahead and sit back and close your eyes. And we're going to invite Archangel Michael in with us and um, the angels and spirit guides of the Taurus Collective that will help us to release these trapped emotions. And I want you to take one big breath and breathe out and relax. Relax as you listen to the music. Breathe in and breathe out. And we have some guilt, Archangel Michael, that's living in our liver that's been there since the age of one. And I know it kind of, kind of seems silly, like what could a one-year-old be so guilty about? Well, it really depends on the situation. And all humans feel all emotions. We all have the ability to trap them, whether it was a small thing that happened or a huge thing that happened. But whatever it was, is it what it happened? And we did trap some things into our liver. And so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna breathe in and we're gonna imagine ourselves traveling to our liver. I want you to take yourself to your liver and imagine your liver and imagining opening a door to your liver and walking into your liver. And inside of your liver, you see a little baby is that you? It is you. You're there as a little baby. You see yourself and you're so cute. Hi, little baby. And you notice that the little baby has this thing clenched in his or her fist. And you're like, what is that? And you go over to the little baby and you, you open up the fist and you see that it's, it's guilt. And you're like, where did that come from? And so you, you go, hey, little baby, I know you can't even talk yet, you know, because you got your goo goo gagas, right? <laughs> so you're like, little baby, I'm going to take that guilt from you, 
and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna give it to God and I want you to, to watch me, watch me, watch me, watch what I'm doing. And so you grab the, the guilt from the baby's hand and you turn around and you keep looking at the baby like, don't forget to watch me. And you, you keep walking and then you walk over to God and you say, God, here's that guilt that I held on to since I was one years old. Can you take this and transmute it into light energy? God says, of course I can. God takes the energy, takes that guilty energy, and you see it. It's just energy. It's just a vibration. Well, shoot, if I would have known it was a vibration, and that's all it was, I would have given it to God a long time ago. So you give it to God, and God takes it, and God says, let me show you what I'm going to do with this. And you go, okay. And God's big hand, you see it, that tiny little bit of guilt just sitting right there. And God blows it into the universe. And it bursts in the most beautiful light that you've ever seen. And you say, God, that's beautiful. I love that. That is bright and beautiful. God says, go get me some more of that guilt and I'll take care of it for you. You go, okay. So you walk over to little baby. And you go, baby, do you have any more guilt? And baby's not ready to get rid of it yet. Not yet. But you go, you know what? I have things that are showing up in my life right now that's making me feel guilty. And you know what? I, I, I'd like to get rid of mine. And God goes, okay, let's get rid of it. So I want you to think right now of something that's happening in your life that makes you feel really guilty. Make it really big inside of your body. Make it come out of your liver and into your hand. It just like flows into your hand and your hand is like just real big and wide as it flows into your hand it's getting really big all of that guilt it's just huge it's turning into this huge big ball of energy and it's just circling around and it's red and it's big and red and you're like wow and it's getting hot so you're like oh god this is getting hot so god says okay give it to me you go, okay you give it to god God takes it, God takes it in God's hand and God blows it, and it turns into the biggest rainbow. It's huge, it goes all around the earth, and you're like, wow, and God says, you see that rainbow? That rainbow is represented of all the guilt that you've been holding on to from this relationship that you had. You see that? And now the world gets to see the most beautiful rainbow in the world. And every time you see a rainbow, you get to be remembered that you gave that to the, to the, you, you gave it to the world, you gave it to everyone. That was your guilt that you took out of your body and you gave it to the earth. So beautiful. Breathe in. And breathe out. All right. Now, all of a sudden you look down and there's an eight-year-old you. And the eight-year-old you is standing next to you, tapping on your arm, trying to get your attention. And they're like, Taurus, Taurus, I'm, I, I have something for you I'd like for you to give to God. Because I just saw you get rid of the guilt from, from me when I was a baby. Can you get rid of this indecisiveness? And you go, oh yeah, let's do it. So you, 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 you know what? You say, hey, come with me. I'm going to show you where God is. And you take this eight-year-old child over to God. And you say, God, this is my eight-year-old self. And we're holding on to some indecisiveness. Can we get rid of that too? And God says, yes, of course. And you go, okay. So you say, how do I do it? And God says, okay, I want you to take your hands. So I want you to imagine your hands. Okay, Taurus, take your hands and wrap your hands from the top of the eight-year-old self both hands and kind of wipe away all of that indecisiveness and move your hands all around the body of the eight-year-old child move your hands all around and gather up all that you can it starts to look like cotton candy in one of those cotton candy machines as you're gathering it all up and gathering it all up and it turns into this huge ball of looking like cotton candy stuff but it's like blue it's blue, the color of your throat chakra. Very interesting because the gill was the color of your root chakra. So now it's your throat chakra. And so we're, we're gathering up all of this blue cotton candy looking stuff 
It's so big, it's like both you and your eight-year-old have to take it to God. <laughs> and you're like, here, you guys are holding it. And God takes it with God's big arms. He says, are you ready for this? And they're like, you guys are like, yes, I can't wait to see what you're going to do with it. <laughs> and God's like, all right, God takes God the, you know, God takes it and blows real big. It's like this. Ready? Breathe in. And breathe out. Ready? I breathe in. And breathe out real big with God. And you know what it does? It circles the entire earth with the biggest. It's not just a rainbow. It's like an orb or an aura of rainbowness, if that's even a word. But it just, the whole world is just covered in this gorgeous hue of rainbow colors of the chakra system. And the, the seas of the universe become the bluest color you ever see. It's so pretty and everybody's like in awe. People on the earth are like, oh, look how beautiful the sea is. And Taurus, you did that with your beautiful and decisive energy, <laughs> right? So Taurus, I want you to look inside your body tonight, today, right now. And I want you to think about all the things that you've been indecisive of, all the things that you haven't trusted, all the things that you're so afraid to make that step forward with, but you know that God gave you the intuition to do it. I want you to breathe in real big. And I want you to blow it out into the sea of blue and make them even bluer. Here we go. Ready? Breathe out. indecisiveness that started when you were eight that created the indecisiveness that you're having today you don't need it no more thank you Archangel Michael thank you God thank you angels for being here so that we can get rid of this indecisiveness and guilt that's been holding Taurus back from the life of their dreams and everything that they've wanted and everything that they deserve and we appreciate it very much all right, Taurus, that was amazing. <laughs> Please come back to that as many times as you need to. If you're feeling indecisive or guilty or anything like that, come back and do the releasing of the trapped emotions again. Because I have released over 1,300 emotions. We don't even have that many emotions. It just means that I've had that many experiences over and over and over and over again in my life that created the vibration inside of me that attracted so many of the experiences that I didn't want. So every time you release a trapped emotion, something beautiful comes into your life. So I can't wait for you to get the gifts that you so deserve and so desire. And I can't wait to see your progress in love and in your career. All right, Taurus, I am so excited to see you next time for the Mercury Retrograde reading or whatever reading I come out with next, whatever I'm told to do. You guys have a great day. Bye.